In this video, we'll be trying to solve the JAM 2025 possible math question on statistics. The question here says, from the table below, that's this table here, calculate the mean score, All right? We ask to find mean score. So how do we find mean? We're given the options here as A, 3.2, B, 3.4, C, 3.1, and D, 3.3, all right? So you're given the scores as 5, 8, 3, and 2. And also you're given the frequency as 3, 1, 5, 6 for each of the scores, okay? We have to find the mean score. So how do we find mean score? Now, it depends on the approach you want to give to this solution. Right, so it depends on the approach you want to give to this. But let's take the typical statistic method, which would be to form a table for this, okay? Now, in forming a table, we'd have a table for the scores. We'll have a table for the frequency. All right, so let's create columns. The first column there for score. The second column there for frequency. Um, second column for frequencies. The third column will be the product of the frequency and the score. Okay. All right, so let's go with this. So the first thing there is scores. So we'll call this scores. Um, scores. They call it scores or score. Scores. All right. So let's call this X. That's the first thing there. Next up, let's look at the frequencies. Free. Quen. C. That's a small f there. The next thing there, we'll create a column for the product of the score and the frequency. We'll call it fx. Okay. So what fx means is f times x, right? That's fx, f times x. That's the product of the scores and the frequencies. All right, so having done that, what's next thing there? Next thing we'll do there is to impute the values of the scores and the frequency in this table. So the, the scores we have there are 5, 8, 3, and 2. So for scores, we have 5, we have 8, we have 3, we have two. All right, so I'll just come here and elongate this a bit. That's this. Also come here too, elongate this a bit. That's this. All right, so we have this. For frequency, we have this as three, one, five, six, respectively. So for this, we have three. For this, we have one. For this, we have five. And for this, we have six, respectively. All right, so what next here? Yeah? Our next task would be to find the product, okay? We'll find the product of the scores and the frequency. So for fx, fx simply means this times this, which is simply 5 times 3, and that's equal to 15. That's for this. Let's get this one here. This is 8 times 1, which is 8 times 1, and that's equal to 8. Let's get this one here. That's 5 times 3, or 3 times 5. That's 3 times 5 and that's equal to 15 that's a value finally for this we have 2 multiplying 6 that's 2 times 6 and that's equal to 12 okay so we have these values our next task here will now be to sum them right we'll find the sum i'll come here for this we'll draw a line here um quite optional though draw a line here uh, let me extend this down a bit Extending that this down a bit, extend this down a bit. All right. Now, for the last row there, the first thing I'll add there is the sum of the frequency. That's the sum of the frequency. What you have here, this, what you have, this is called sigma. All right. It's a mathematical symbol that shows summation. So when you see sigma, it means summation. So the first thing I'm doing there is sigma f, and that's equal to. So basically what this means is that I'm adding all the numbers in the frequency column. That's all of these numbers here, right? And if I add that, that becomes 3 plus 1, that's 4. 4 plus 5, that's 9. 9 plus 6, that's 15. So if I sum the frequency, I have 15 as the sum of the frequency. Let's get for um, fx. If I sum the product of frequency and x, that's the score. If I sum the product of them, that becomes 15 plus 8 plus 15 plus 12. All right, so if you do 15 plus 8, that gives you 23. 
plus 15, that gives you 38, plus 12, that gives you 50, all right? But this is equal to 50, if I sum this up. All right, so with this, we've gotten this to now. At this point, we can now take our mean formula. Note that in statistics, mean is called x bar, all right? That's the notation for mean, x bar. And x bar is equal to the sum of the product of the frequency and score all divided by the sum of the frequency that's sum of frequency let's put in values for the first one that we had this value as 50 that's what you have here 50 all divided by for this one here your value here is 15 all divided by 15 so it becomes 50 over 15 and if you punch that 50 divided by 15 50 divided by 15 um, that gives you a continuous answer as 3.33 continuously so you have 3.33 as your value all right all right so we can go back to our options let's see so a is 3.2 3.4 3.1 3.3 obviously our answer here is d which is 3.3 so basically this is how we find this um, solution okay now there's a faster way of doing this okay the faster way of doing this is instead of creating this table as i did here now this table was just for explanation instead of creating this table you could just go straight and get your answer very fast don't forget that this is a timed exam is jam so how do you get your answer very fast just multiply this to three times five or five times three is 15 plus eight times one that's eight plus three times five that's 15 plus 2 times 6, that's 12. If you do this and you sum them, you're having 15 plus 8 plus 15 plus 12. You have your answer as 50. Simply divide this by the sum of the frequencies. That's 3 plus 1, 4 plus 5, 9 plus 6, that's 15. Divide this by 15. So 50 over 15 gives you the same answer as 3.3. So this is like a faster way of doing this, okay? In case of my exam, do this this way. But I had to break it out this way so that you understand the solving, okay? All right, guys, so this is how you solve this. Now, let me give you let me give you a task to do. Um, let me give you a task to do quickly. So I'm going to change these values, and then you solve it and tell me the answer in the comment section, and I'll tell you if you're correct, okay? Now, let's re-edit this. Let's say what I had here was 4. What I had here was 7. What I had here was 0. What I had here was, um, let's say, 1. Then coming back to scores, let's say this is 8, and this is 6. This is 2, and this is, uh, let's use 3. All right. So for this question here, now for this question, ignore these options. All right. You solve this question yourself. All right. For this, from this new table here, Calculate the mean of this question, leave your answer in the comment section, and I'll tell you if you're correct, okay? All right? Okay, guys, don't forget that you can get more content by joining my channel membership, all right? I'll leave a link to join my channel membership in the video description, or you can check out my website, www.jonahimano.com forward slash courses, or www.jonahimano.com forward slash books, and you can get the any of the available courses or books, all right? Okay, guys, so if you enjoyed this video as usual, hit the like button. All right, so like this video, give this video a thumbs up, um, leave a comment. For, a co for your comment, I give you a task, right? Get the mean of this particular table. Leave your answer in the comment section, and I will tell you if you're correct. Don't forget to also subscribe. If it's your first time or if you get to subscribe, please do well to subscribe to this channel. Select the bell icon and choose all. So that you get notified whenever we upload new content. Then finally, share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. As, you, as always, thank you and see you in our next class.